just down the old Morse key. Hello and welcome to another thrilling episode of Radio Rambles and I want to talk to you ever so briefly about Morse code. Now as you know I'm very mic shy but getting practice and getting better but I think Morse is the way to go. Morse code, learning Morse code uh, appeals to me um, at the minute and it's something which I've been on and off trying to get going with but always having a bit of trouble or getting distracted with something else but I'm very aware that I have to invest uh, a lot of time into learning Morse code but I think it'll be such an achievement when I get there. I'm using two tools to help me but also resurrecting an old project of mine which I'll run, a, uh, run the video again to show you what I mean. First thing I've, uh, I'm using to learn Morse code is an app called Morse Mania. Morse Mania. And I'll show you that in a minute. Morse Mania gamifies the, the learning of Morse code in a really nice and steady manner. It doesn't teach you about, well it does, about the composition of each letter, but it, more, it teaches you more about the sound, how each letter sounds. So uh, for me, or the way my brain works, that's perfect. It's because we're more concentrating on the audio, the sound composition of, of each letter. And I'm actually learning it faster that way, actually, actually I think. I think it's an, uh, a properly documented method with a fancy name. I don't know what the fancy name is. So let's just go with the sound method. Now, I'm also using a website called morsecode.me. Now this is just a, just a chat room and it's a chat room with a difference. You can't type, you can only tap out Morse code, but you can use a, a Morse key on it. You can use a mouse key on it, or you could just use the space bar. It's very accessible and one which I would recommend, and there's different chat rooms depending on the speed in which you want to practice. Most of the time I'm in there on my own, <laughs> um, but it's still a good way of practicing what you're learning from, well, what I'm learning from my app that, I, that I'm regularly dipping in and out of at the minute. So here we go, let's take a quick look at both those websites. Okay, so here's Morse Mania. So this is it, what it looks like in the Google Play Store. I imagine there's one in the Apple store, but I'm not an Apple person. So, um, yeah, I'm sure you can find the exact one or a, a suitable alternative. But over in the Google Play, you're looking for Morse Mania Learn Morse Code app. And it looks very much like this. Yet yeah, nice, simple layout. And it's nice that I can dip in and out maybe when I'm waiting to pick somebody up so I can just spend a few minutes on, uh, firing up the app and just um, completing another level or as I like to do I like to redo several uh, levels at a time so it's all clear in my head but yeah it's coming on really well I would definitely recommend this this app. The other one I mentioned was morsecode.me and this is a um, very very simple uh, looking chat room uh, where you have to type uh, morse code out and there's the key button here that you can press with the mouse, you can press with the space bar, or you can hook up uh, um, a, a USB Morse key if you would prefer. And there, it seems to uh, change every so often. There, there are uh, people actively working on this uh, website, it would appear, because the new features come in and maybe the menu, menu shift around. But generally, it all looks the same. And uh, it's, it's at its core, it's got this basic chat room functionality which I love. But there you go, Morse code me and Morse mania. Awesome. Right, we're back now. Okay, let's let's dust down this little baby. Now this um, is an old Morse key that I found in a junk shop. I think it was only a couple of quid, I think. Um, but yeah, I, I managed to strip it back and with um, uh, the help of an old mouse, you can probably see in there maybe, there's some gubbins in there. That's the inside or circuitry of uh, 
a, a, a run-of-the-mill computer mouse. And together, combined, they make a USB Morse key. So they allow me to connect my traditional Morse key via USB, which is perfect for the likes of Morse code me. Well, that, that rhymes a bit, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, let's rerun an old video of mine of how I made this. And it's really, really simple and so convenient. So let's run the video. Welcome to this very quick tutorial on how to convert an old Morse key to work with a USB device like uh, a PC or a laptop so you can operate it on Hamsphere or any other Morse uh, code trainer site. It goes without saying that you're first going to need a Morse key and I found this one in a second hand shop for a couple of pounds. Um, seems to do the job quite nicely. To do the conversion though you're going to need a mouse. An old mouse like this one that I have lying around. Make sure it works. Make sure the left mouse key works more importantly. It doesn't matter how big the key is or how big the mouse is. Um, but what you want to do, you want to crack open that mouse and it's really hard to do it with one hand while I'm filming. But you want to basically strip out the, the insides of it and locate the switches for the left mouse button. There they are. Turn it over and you'll see the soldering points that those that, that switch uses. And what you're going to have to do is solder, I'm not very good at soldering, a uh, bit out of practice, solder some wires to those two solder points. Okay, so basically the Morse key is going to mimic the left click of that mouse. Now, find a little base to screw it all on. I've got a little plastic container. And don't forget that the wires that you've soldered on need to poke out the case. Okay, because they're going to come out the case and uh, fix themselves to the actual Morse key, which will then be screwed to the top of this casing. So that's the plan anyway. So here we go. We've got the wires going through and connected to the key on top. The whole key is screwed down to the lid. Okay, and the inside of the mouse is will be housed inside. And there you go. There we have uh, a quick conversion of a traditional Morse key using an old or recycling an old mouse that everybody has lying around the house. Now to test it out I found a few really nice websites okay um, but uh, the nice one I found was called uh, was called let's see morsecode.me so they're like chat rooms but for people practicing their morse but you can use it on hamsphere or any other um, morse service like this but have a go yourself it's it's not as difficult as you think